Yo, homie, stop trashing the playgrounds, brother. The Golden Girls, weekday mornings at 11.30 here on Channel 3. Morning Stretch is brought to you by Folgers Mountain Grown Coffee. Well, good morning, good morning. How are you today? Are you feeling pretty good? I hope so. But if you're not, I know you've heard this, but it's true. Exercise can make you feel better. And a little bit later, not too long, we'll be doing a nice warm-up and then working on the abdominals. This is our abdominal series. And then some aerobics. So we want you to have some aerobic shoes, comfortable clothing, well-ventilated place like we have here, huh? so that you're ready to go. As you're stretching out and getting ready, I want to talk a little bit about osteoarthritis because we've talked about arthritis which is a degenerative disease of the bone. We've talked about osteoporosis, which is a weakening and thinning of the bone. Osteoarthritis does affect bone and muscle, believe it, and also all of the cartilage, and it's a breakdown. And it can, and the thing about degenerative or osteoarthritis is that it can occur if you're overweight, because there's so much stress put on the joints that wear away, uh, wear away, wear away, it's not like Elmo Fudd, wear away, <laughs> sorry. Wear away the protective cartilage. Um, it can happen in an accident. It can happen if you are in construction work and you put a lot of pressure on the knees and the back. And it can be serious. Now, they treat it with um, aspirin in the beginning and aspirin-related drugs to keep you comfortable. There may have to be surgery. Um, but osteoarthritis can be very, very serious. So in order to prevent this kind of thing, there are some things you can do. Obviously, you have a job that's very stressful to the knees or the backs of the joint of the body. Be aware of it. Give yourself a rest time, even padding through that area. And definitely, here we go again, but it's important. You don't want to have any excess weight, especially if you um, are, are in a job that puts a lot of pressure on your joints at all, because weight can cause it. Secondly, you want to be sure you're doing flexibility exercises, a yoga, stretch class, put your joints to a full range of motion. Again, swimming is good, cycling is good, rowing is good. All these things are gentle to the joint unless you have a knee problem. Low impact aerobics, brisk walking with the right kind of shoes gives you your cardiovascular work. But again, remember, weight control and exercise are the key here. If you do have a job that is prone to wear and tear on these joints, take the extra precaution of watching those two things and also even knee pads, shin guards, etc. And we'll be right back with our warm-up exercise. the sun but even the sunlight can't brighten your morning like that first cup of mountain grown folgers the best part of waking up is folgers in your cup you've been searching for it all your life something rich that doesn't have a billion calories. Something sweet and non-fat with no added sugar. Introducing the Yoplait Light. Fresh, creamy yogurt and real fruit lusciously blended with just a touch of NutraSweet and only 90 little calories. New Yoplait Light. Mmm, the light at the end of the tunnel. Now for four Marion Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 28 welcomes the Bentley Brothers International Three Ring Circus coming to Devon on Friday, August 25th and Saturday, August 26th and Sunday, August 27th. We invite all nonprofit and charitable groups who wish to attend to contact us at 878-0575. Have your group thrilled to the flying trapeze, dancing bears, three rings of prancing horses, tigers and trained baby elephants all in Devon, Lancaster and Dorset. Don't miss family entertainment at its greatest. Time to Care is sponsored by the Pepsi-Cola bottlers of the Delaware Valley. 
Hello, all you young creatures. This is Stella from Saturday Night Dead. I'm going to be at Kids Day at the zoo on August 20th. Now, besides coming out to the zoo to have a great time and visit with me and a few of the other animals, <laughs> you can visit with Big Pig. He's leaving soon, and if you draw a special goodbye card for the pig, uh, I mean Big Pig, you'll get in for half price. See you on Sunday, August 20th for Kids Day at the zoo. Okay, ready to go? In our warm-up position, we are standing. That's right, abdominal pull this. Tighten the gluteals and rest your candles. Flex, and first of all, good morning to you, Miss Kendall. Good morning. And good morning to you, Kathy. Good morning. Do you notice how Kendall said good morning this morning, Kathy? We're impressed. It's <laughs> very like radio announcer, good morning. Oh, yeah. We're impressed. FM time, <laughs> yes. Okay, one more time. In the arms down, and we're going to start with the upper back, warming up. Reach and pull. So we're pulling back, warming up to the upper back. Feeling those shoulder blades. What do you used to call those wings when you're little? These are flex. Bringing the blue up to that large muscle through the back. Back is badly neglected. You know, it's really never on the, uh, the top 10 of wanting to shape. Because we're always talking about one great abs, one great legs. But the back is very important. Obviously, anyone that's had the back problem realizes that. So let's press. Press it back. Five, six, seven, and eight. Now bring it back. Keeping the elbows close to the body. Warming up through the mid part of the body. Back and back. Hey, back for our back. Reaching up, pulling back. Again. And back. You know, this is an exercise show emphasis on movement, but it is amazing how the body, you know, it, you've got those good years, you've got those years where it all sort of holds together, but when you, uh, later on, you know, as all the things, it doesn't have to be later on, it can happen early on, but you find that if you don't get exercise in your life, that a lot of degenerative diseases, such as we've talked about on the show, we love talking about degenerative diseases, health problems, even the fact that you may not even be eating that much food, but you can't. Now watch the arms. And down. Even though you might, you know, be watching what you're eating, you still can't lose weight. It's all related to exercise. The body's made of all these bones and movable parts and muscles because it's meant to move. And you don't have to kill yourself. Be every other day. But you have to be consistent in your movement. It'll get you. Your body will get you. You know what's amazing? I really thought about this. Oh, good, we're glad. Are you gonna come? What did you think about? Yeah. Is there a thought in there? Thank you. Two more. One. And two. Hands on the thighs. Over. Warming up to the back. You know, when you buy a car, there's in like an owner's man manual, right? It tells you all these things you have to do to maintain your car. Most people, at least for the first few years, are diligent. Why? Money, folks. I spent a lot of money on this thing. 